Hello everyone, and welcome to Graveyard Keeper. I've never played this. I've had a lot of requests to play it back when it first hit Alpha. It's an ordinary day and our hero is hurrying home when someone very important is waiting for him. Oh, where someone very important is waiting for him. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and feeling loved. Especially when you know that someone misses you. What happened? Where is everything? Calm down, you've merely turned a page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. But I need to go home, can I go home? There's always a way to get home. Hmm, let me see, your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means that you're a graveyard keeper now. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should take out Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. Who? What a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay, let's find Jerry. Or maybe Gary. Gary? I don't know. Anyway. So, yeah, this game came out in, like, an alpha. They had a demo, and everybody was like, Wander, you should play this. And I was like, I'm gonna wait until they have, like, a more, uh, official version coming out. This is it. I think... Is this made by the Punch Club people? It looks like it was. I think it was, actually. Are you Gary? Hmm. Why would you think I'm Gary? A man with a red eye told me that I need to dig up Gary. A red eye, I remember. Oh, Sarn. That's right, I am Gary. How did you find me? The man told me you'd answer all my questions. Good, good, but first let me ask you, who are you and where the Sard are we? Uh, I must be dreaming none of this can be real. Ah, you're the new graveyard keeper. Oh, what else do I remember? Let me think. I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes any sense. You know, I think it'll be better if I wait for you here. I might scare the poor thing. I definitely remember that bell. And a donkey. Something's very wrong with that animal. Hmm. He could be contagious. Got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a talking donkey. Uh, uh, you, you can understand me. Let's talk. Who are you? I'm cheap labor. This card isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. And I only earn five carrots a day. The situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? The bastard pretends he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to go back to the town. You get rid of this one. I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. What the? Ah, it just kind of pushes the corpse out of the way and goes straight through me. Hey, what are you just staring at? Grab that juicy corpse. Well, it's still fresh. What for? I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fun and it might be profitable. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Let's do it! A to pick up and drop items. Sahard, I like this place. Feels like home. Put the body on the autopsy table. Hmm. Then, what's next? Oh yes, slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good for starters. What? No way. This isn't right. Sure, sure, it's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm a talking skull with amnesia. It isn't right that you don't know where you are. Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing's right here. So shut the shard up, shard up and do what I tell you. You promise you'll tell me how to get home? You just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Talking skulls never lie. And then bring the beer to me. Okay, that's gross. So blueprint, uh, blueprint, preparation place, palette, and extract flash. Oh boy. Okay, you've learned, you've unlocked a new technology and got create burger, sandwich, and baked meat. That's disgusting. You'll get used to it. So what should I do with the corpse? I don't know. Let's bury it. 
Take the corpse. I'll wait for you in the graveyard. Well, this is charming. I'm gonna turn the sound back up. It was kind of loud in the main menu. But I think it, I, I think I can afford to be, uh, have it be much louder. Can I go through any of this? Nope, I think I have to go down down through the, uh, the center. This is... interesting. I mean, visually it's quite nice. And, like, as long as it's not as, like, grindy as Punch Club, I'm not gonna mind too much. Let's bury it! Use the blueprint desk at the graveyard. Mark a site for the grave, then dig it with your shovel. Carefully put the body or remains of it in the grave. Bury, decorate. Warning, do not use goat skulls and upside down stairs for decoration. Okay, grave site. Okay. Visually, it's quite impressive. Impressive, maybe? I don't know. It's nice to look at. Nicely done! Hmm. This bear is a, a certificate. I remember. Money, alcohol, mmm, alcohol. I'm sure I used to like it a lot. Oh, sorry, here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Oh, oh, I know. Ask him about this burial certificate. He should know something. I better leave now. I'll be in the morgue, waiting for my beer. Dear me, why am I so tired? Why? Why do I have to come here every week? Ah, oh, Keeper, there you are. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. There's no way I'm promoting you to Cleric until you fix it. Current location name, important information, the graveyard quality, the church appeal, etc. Repair graves to increase the graveyard's overall quality. You'll probably need special resources to do that. You've unlocked a new technology and got Create Wooden Marker. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least five, I'll be pleased to promote you. You look like a spiritual leader, and I'm a good judge of character. Ha ha! I'm good at everything. That's why I was chosen, to represent his will. Ha ha! Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in a truck somewhere here. You should check it. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I come here every... Uh, whatever that day is. Maybe I'm not dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting. What should I say? Why isn't you come here? It's part of my duty. It's an unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. Ha <laughs> ha! I have one tiny question. What is this burial certificate? As soon as a burial has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. Let's see. I'm not the keeper. I was going home from work. I need to go home. There's a talking skull. He forced me to butcher a corpse. Ha <laughs> fine joke. I'm a humorist myself. Here's one. Who's BB? Who? I am. Ha <laughs> ha. Blessed and beautiful. Laugh. How can I fix the graveyard? Just repair all the graves. It wouldn't make... It wouldn't take me even an hour. But it's your job. Okay, so we know how to do that, and leave. You run out of repair kits while fixing the graveyard. You can always craft new ones. Okay, to craft new items, you'll need to unlock relevant technology. This costs tech points. Press that to open the tech tree. Red points represent your handcrafting skills and your ability to work with materials. Green points represent your knowledge about nature, the nature of things, and nature itself. Blue points represent your spiritual knowledge of the immaterial world. You can earn points simply by doing anything. Also, you can get points by studying new items at a special table. You unlocked new technology and got gathering stone rock. Timber stockpile, small tree felling, stick. Okay, so we got some things. We barely have anything to work with. And box, box has stuff. So wood repair kits, stone repair kits, rusty axe, and other things. Do these have durability? No, but I can stu study them. Okay, well... Can I... how do I... How do I equip anything? Can't make make this... Oh! Hey, stump friends, and welcome! Uh, this is Graveyard Keeper. This 
Has Jazz just been playing, uh, We Happy Few the whole night? No, no, they absolutely must have been doing other things, to, uh, tonight than just... Uh, doing other things than just, uh... We Happy Few. Okay, Gravestone, Fixed Gravestone. Let's just slowly fix this. Ah, uh, they were doing Overcuck too. That would explain everything. All right, so that's that's negative one. Can I can I fix this one up? Fix gravestone. Yep. This cost me my uh, my stone kids, but that's not a big deal. Uh, I have a copy of uh, of Overcook Two. I've been wanting to play it, but unfortunately, uh, my group they actually like uh, only sent us one copy. I was like, hey, can I have multiple? And they're like, nope, you get one. And I was like, what? All right. Uh, let's see. So we can fix. We can add a fence. We can fix the fence. Let's do it. Let's just do whatever. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so that, that beautifies it. So we do need the stone fence. Which question is, can I... Okay, I can't fix that one. What about you? Gravestone. Fixed gravestone. Yep. Well, quality is negative 19. And it looks like there is... Oh, the blue meter is probably my energy bar in the top left. Yeah. Alright, that goes down when I do stuff. Now, do I actually get resources? Yes, I do get resources for that. Almost out of energy. Can I can I finish this? Nope, tired. All right, well, time to head home. Because it looks like... Oh, no. Time does pass freely while we're doing this. I wonder if we have to worry about passing out at all. Uh, let's go back in the house, then. Because I'm not- I'm not entirely sure... ...what'll happen if the- the night passes without me sleeping. Or is this Punch Club style where I just rest? To get all my energy back. Okay, so time just passes faster. It doesn't look like this is Stardew Valley style, where you just straight up pass out. If you're up too late. I kind of prefer this system. I'm so refreshed. This is not good. This is not good at all. Who do you think you are? I'm the new graveyard keeper. Hooray, a kipper. Wow, I've been here for... Hmm. How long? I'm York. I'm so lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wait. No, on the contrary. I'm very glad to see you. But we do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. That sounds like something you can help us with. Not exactly sure why I'm here, actually. Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick, and he's Jerry. Funny. Oh, the half-dead skull, that jealous bastard. Ha <laughs> ha! He can only dream of what a peaceful rest we're having. Ah, who am I kidding? It's terrible here. Especially that guy down in the lower right corner grave. He's so mean. Could you get- just get rid of him? Just dig him up and throw him in the river. I can even give you this license that I stole back when I was alive. What license? You're such a dummy. To dig up a corpse, you need a license. The old keeper used to buy them through the mailbox in the church. We have also have this. Hatch is closed for now. Well, leaving that alone. Uh, what do we got back here? Oh. Wait, this is the workyard. Do I get to do farming at some point? I, I don't know. Can I... Okay, need technology. Well, can't do that. Let's, um... Oh, thank you, Mythrender, for the six-month sub! Anyway, uh... There's a guard there. Yeah, it looks like this is actually gonna be kind of a nicely large world. It doesn't look like there's anything else I can immediately do here. Uh, let's... Let's go drop off the death certificate and pick up the... Oh, and the meat. Ugh. Corpse meat, gross. And let's see if we can pick up our, uh, our beer for Gary. Has anybody from Stumped played this yet? Probably not. I bet Rick would like this game a lot. I'm not even gonna try it. What a lot of boo. D, B, B. You wanna be loved by me. Shalala woo bob. What? All right. Anyway, you're the man I want to talk to, probably. Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I'm Herodric. How can I help you? I came from the grave graveyard. I woke up here today, and things have been crazy since then. 
I'm oh, sorry. How could I not have recognized you? Good. This is good. Our things are looking bright for our small village. When are you planning on opening the church? I need to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure. It's been a while since I do when he took care of it. So, let's get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? I'd like to trade you some fresh meat. Meat is a delicacy in our village. I'd be glad to buy it. I just need to see the royal meat stamp on it. Find a stamp and sell meat to Roderick. Many years ago, there was an accident with uh, the inappropriate meat. Ever since, all meat must be approved by royal authority. And I don't need any trouble with the town. Does your meat have a stamp? Nope. I don't even want to know where you can get unauthorized meat, but wow, it looks really good. Without a stamp, my high ends are tied. Where can I get this stamp? Oh, you can send a form to the royal court through the mailbox near the church, but it'll cost you a bundle. There's another way, I'll tell you, just because we're neighbors, come closer. There's this guy called Snake, I think he has a fake royal stamp. But to be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask Miss Charm, I bet she comes here every Fems Day. I bet she can help you find Snake. Thanks. Okay, burial certificate. The bishop, the bishop told me that you would buy my burial certificates. Yes, he's right. As the head of the village, I, according to the ancient contract, I have to trade it for money. Of course, only if I have any money. What do you mean? The village is going through hard times. We're short on money. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. Okay, trade. Oh, keeper. Could you kindly take this letter to our local, local blacksmith, Kresvold? Sir, sure, where can I find him? The southeastern corner of the village. Okay, so burial certificates are kind of ex Oh, you know, that's what I have. Well, he's got a little bit. What else can we buy? We can buy food, which gets me ex energy. You get extra points when studying new items. Some health, healing. Okay, so there's combat in this game. Finish offer. And the rest we do not want to sell. Bryce did play it. Okay. I didn't know if he'd touched it yet. Let's see. Hi. What do you want? I'm a graveyard keeper, and I want to ask you some questions. I see. You know how many times a day I hear that same mumbling? I have no time for you, little man. Come back when you have more faith in yourself. Demonstrate that you are worth talking to. But, ciao. Hail, friend. Can I have a moment? Oh, beer for Jerry. Forgot about that. What did Miss Charm tell you? Literally to go away. Ah, oh, she's always so classy. She would never talk to just anyone. I'm not just anyone. I'm the local graveyard keeper. Soon to be prior of the local church. Ah, oh, how primitive. I'm a well-known poet in certain small circles. My name is Wagner. One day I'll read my poem to her and then we'll... Ah, oh, but first I need to write it. And I'm catastrophically out of paper and ink. Maybe you can get me some. Okay, ask where to find the paper and ink. You may ha have some of it in your church, or you can make it. I'm just not used to manual labor, but a skillful man such as yourself can surely do it easily. Also, you could get some from the old astrologer. He used to go to Lighthouse every moon's day. He was my supplier before we had a ridiculous fight. Ask about the old astrologer. He's old and mad. I've been studying for three, almost three years in the town university. Can you believe he turned me out to be, turned out to be an idiot? He told me that the earth is round. What nonsense. Actually, it is round. Oh god, you should definitely meet him. The mad astrologer and the graveyard keeper. Two wise men. Huh, I can make for a pretty funny poem. This astrologer must be the smartest man around. Uh, maybe he'll be able to help me get back home. Ask about the lighthouse. It's on a cliff to the east of the village. It hasn't seen active use in a while. Bless the dead horse for staying open. One day I'll write a poem about this place. Maybe even a couple lines about you. Alright, well we don't have any ink or paper. Okay. So we wanna we wanna buy a beer. I totally forgot about the beer. Uh mug of beer, mug of beer, mug of beer. Okay, so that's the beer for Jerry, and let's talk to her. You must be the new graveyard keeper. So I've been told, but how did you know? Oh, if you live as long as I have, you'll probably learn how to read people, too. But where are my manners? My name... I am Miss Chain, Roderick's wife. Nice to meet you. I ha... Roderick Chain, of course. Nice to meet you. I have a few questions about... Oh, oh, you better talk with my husband. He's in charge around here. He's not only the tavern keeper, but also the elected head of the village. 
Besides, he really does like to talk. All I can do is sell you some recipes. Okay, so she sells. We have no money. Well, we could buy pie. We could make pies. I'm gonna waste my mo money and learn how to make pies. Who knows, that might come in handy. I might be able to resell them. Let's see, what is this? Fetch quest the game? At least initially. I like it though. I It reminds me of uh, Stardew Valley, but with a little bit more of a, like a direct storyline, which is kind of neat. Okay, so we're looking for the blacksmith. Might as well deliver, uh, deliver letters, kind of handle all that stuff before we get down and dirty. Hey, what you looking at? Nothing, just looking around. I'm the local keeper, um, keeper of the local graveyard. May I ask who you are? Unfortunately, my, I'm the local blacksmith. My name's Kreshvold. Give him the letter. I have a letter for you from Horodric. A letter, of course. Oh, one minute away. And he can't be bothered to come himself. Heh. <laughs> I guess old habits never die. Thank you. Sorry for my nagging. It seems it's my new habit. Hmm, slimes it again. Horodric asked me to get rid of them. I don't have the time for those pesky little green bastards, but maybe you can help. Take this rusty sword and energy potion. The sword is broken, but you can repair it with the whetstone and the grinder behind me. You can keep the whetstone. Maybe you'll need it to repair your shovel sometime. If you manage to kill them, bring me their remains, and I'll spare you some materials. They should be right up the other side of my house, near the puddles. Okay, one second. I need some water. Badly. One second. Yeah. Okay, different actions in the game spend your energy. Crafting, gathering, and fighting take energy. Fighting has been known to take health as well. Press X to attack. You can always refill your uh, health and energy with food and potions. Sleeping will al also restore your health and energy. Okay, ask him where to find metal ore. You know what? I like to work with metal myself. Where can I find some ore? You can find metal ore in the swamp soil. There's a huge swamp to the west, across the river. I used to collect ore there before the bridge collapsed. Okay, blueprint furnace. Create iron ingot, gathering swamp iron. Okay. So we want to fix the broken sword. And we get it back. All right. All right, and we get the goo. Hello, blacksmith man. I've got goo for you. Defeated the slimes. Good job. Take this watchstone. Just sharpen your broken tools and they'll be as good as new. We've also learned how to make green and red jelly. So what does he sell for me? Things I really can't afford, honestly. For what should be non-surprising reasons. Okay, well, I got the, uh... I got the beer. What can I afford to learn? Nothing yet. Let's see, buffs, perks. Known NPCs. This is cool. Yeah, I really like this. It, it really does remind me of, uh, of Stardew Valley, but with a more, like, personal touch, but also a bit more of a macabre touch uh, in both ways, which is kind of neat. I do wish I could go faster. Whoops, should not press that button. Yeah, there's no sprint. It doesn't look like I've got an EXP meter. I'm assuming leveling up is more based on gear than anything else. <sighs> too many games. Too little too little time. Come here. Where have you been? I was at the village. This place is so weird, but it feels so real. And everybody is okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. Sard, you're stealing my thoughts. Stealing. I remember there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must be stored there. Okay, so we can get some stuff there. Wheat! Exactly. I remember baking bread out of it and pies. Mm, sweet berry pies. Dough, pastry dough, and bread. Toast, onion toast. Oh, that's good with beer. Sard. You know what? I need a beer! This is beginning to feel like a one-sided relationship. Bring me beer and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff. Like how you can get home. Questions? Uh, how, uh, let's see, ask about, how can I get home? Yes, can you tell? It was rhetorical, do I look like a magic head with answers? Well, te technically yes. 
Sorry, you smartass. I'll be waiting for that beer at my place. No beer, no answers. I... Okay, I can can get berries from these now. We might as well grab them. Uh, I don't know if I can make food yet. Okay. The garden. Property of... Uh, property in forfeiture. For commercial use, contract the tavern owner Herodric. Oh. Okay, so I've got to... I've got to reclaim my own property so I can actually fix stuff up and work it. Place for stones. Place for wood logs. Anything in here? No. Grinder? Cool. Well, we're going to go check for permission. Uh, permission. Provisions first. What's that sound? Damn, Gate! I'll come here every night if I have to, but I'll get through eventually. Looks like it can remove this blockage and fortify the arch. Clear out. Well, we need a lot of stuff before I can do that. Okay, can I... Okay, so clearing that out right now isn't really helpful. Might be able to get some stuff out of these, though. What do we got here? Trunk. Trunk has recipe simple and tasty. Okay, so we have flour. Uh, how do we... Okay, so simple and tasty. Baked mushrooms, baked apple, and also we know how to make pies. So berry pie, grape pie. Well, let's go. Let's go to the morgue. Let's let's give Gary his uh his beer. I think first and foremost. Hey, where's my beer? Give him a beer. I thought I had a beer. Yeah, I have a mug of beer. What? Do I not have a beer? Oh, can I... Huh. Yeah, we might have gotten the wrong beer? Okay, so we've learned how to make a sawhorse, flitch, and a wood billet. At the very least. Um, well, we don't have any bodies. Hmm, this is an inconvenience. Do we know if trees uh, respawn in this game? Oh, we've got to go get a sawhorse. Garden remove. That's not helpful. Okay, but I can put that there at the very least. Okay, fix the corpse, corpse hatch outside. Well, we've got to figure out how to get a bunch of things. Uh... Yeah, no, we can't- we can't do anything with him right now. Uh, we need sticks. So let, let's go back into the- the graveyard itself and clear out the- the, like, twiggy bushes. Because I think that's probably the most immediately useful thing I could do for a little while. Because I gotta figure out how to make a, uh... Well, what do I need for a- nope. I can make flower beds and stuff. I'm just gonna get some sticks, because if we, uh... If we want to make a, a sawhorse and whatnot, we'll have to go elsewhere. Okay, you guys are gonna have to lay off on the backseat gaming a little bit. I'm, I'm noticing it's, like, uh, ticking up pretty quick. I get that there's things I'm supposed to do, but, uh, let me, let me play. Because I'm also starting to starting to get kind of useless advice, like go uh, go fix a thing that I can't fix, like fix this, can't do it. For example, anyway, uh, yeah. So let let's go back to the tavern keeper. 
I totally forgot to talk to him on the way out. And we're probably just gonna go pass out because I don't want to use, I don't want to use energy food until we can actually cook it into useful things. I'm noticing it like it, it hangs just a little bit. Hangs or hiccups when I'm moving. I guess it's loading new areas, so it's it's just a little hitchy as we go along. But then again, this is is this early access or because it was alpha like a month ago. So yeah, I bet this is kind of the early access version. Okay. Ah, it's good to know that, how to use a sword. Cresvold told me how you helped him. Here, have a beer. It's on the house. Okay, so that's the beer I had to have. Ask about the garden. Found an abandoned garden near the graveyard. Can you tell me anything about it? Oh, the graveyard. It was seized by the merchant to cover somebody's debts. Can't find anybody who'll make any use of it. Hmm, I can give you permission to use the garden. Who else would agree to grow crops near the graveyard? Hey! Keep listening. Sounds great. Good, but you still need to talk to the merchant. It's his property. It's not exactly proper to give you permission without his approval, but it'll be fine if you promise to settle the details with him later. Sure, I'll talk to him. He comes to trade with the locals every, uh, uh... I don't know what day that is. Whatever that day is. It is day. He owns something. Alright, well, let's let's leave. Yeah, I've I don't know. Backseat gaming for the most part is usually pretty harmless, but every once in a while I get something that's just Oh, wait, where is he? Cause it is that day. Oh, there's the merchant. Great Greetings, villager! If you have any spare silk, I can offer you amazing things, tasty and rare. I humbly apologize, but I'm not buying any of your shit stuff, unless it's something invaluable. And I doubt you can find some things like that here. Actually, I'm new here. Everybody thinks I'm the keeper of the local graveyard, but I'm from another world and I need to go back. I understand you all too well. This world's not mine either. Oh, thank God. Mine is a world of grandeur. Yeah. The palaces of the town. But I'm not so lucky to be highborn, so I have to earn my yeah. coins here. This onion potato hell. Uh, scare him to cure his hiccups. Boo! Are you mad? What are you doing? I was only trying to help with your hiccups. That was a fool thing to do. I just need a little time. At Shark fin steak I ate this morning was so deli delicious. I have to admit that the golden fried butterfly wings stole the show. Seems like you're okay now after my little surprise attack. Yes, it seems so. Ask him about the garden. Roger gave me permission to use the garden near the church. I need to discuss the terms of use with you. Oh, I totally forgot about that dead weight. It cost me so little. But of course, that was so many years ago and due to inflation and good soil. Wow, it's not. Why? Now it's quite the valuable commodity. Let me see. How about mm, 10 gold? Nope. Oh, that's too much. Okay, okay. What about 5 gold? Nope. I'm short on money. Maybe we can discuss some sort of barter. I see. You're a poor man who wants to earn a little money by growing crops. We can discuss the terms of your rent, but first let's see how good a farmer you are. Let's make a deal. You deliver a batch of carrots, cabbages, and beets, and I'll see you as a serious business partner. And we'll make a long-term uh, deal that's profitable for both parties. What do you say? Have 50G before you talk to the merchant. Oh, well, a little bit too late. Also, I guess he's not drunk grandpa. He's more of a... I thought he was just drunk as hell, but no, he's just... I think he might be more nasally. Deal. As soon as I have my first harvest, I'll bring it to you. One more thing. If you have the time... I'd like to ask you a small favor. How can I help you? My friend, I like delicious food, but lately I've been having stomach problems. After a good digger, dinner, I get the hiccups. It's driving me mad. A friend of mine in the wine club told me hiccup grass can help. I believe there's plenty of it in the swamp. I'd be very grateful if you could bring me some. Sure, I'll look around for some. Yeah. Would have been interesting to just outright have the money, but, uh... We we're poor as dirt, so leave that alone for uh, for later. Okay, so known NPCs. Get a beer from the tavern. 
Get back home to your love. 12 carrots, cabbages, and beets. Oh, uh, well, we don't have any money anyway. Demonstrate that you're worth talking to. Paper and ink, stamp, sell me to the Herodric. Can I? Okay, so I can, I can cut stuff down in town, too. First, let's actually trade with this guy. Does he sell seeds? Grape seeds, grape seeds. Well, I don't have any money and he won't buy anything from me either. I need to, I need to go sleep. And we got a full week before he shows back up again. Let's see, is there anything else I immediately need to do? No, we. I. I really want to just kind of ignore things for a little bit and actually get my uh, my setup going. Because I don't know, it it feels like I haven't actually had time to properly uh, develop anything. Well, I don't have any claim property. Okay, so we can now build an empty garden bed. Um, I'm just gonna put it up over here. About three of them. I don't know if there's anything else I can make in this area. Well, I don't have enough energy, so let's just call that. You need four seeds per spot to farm. Gotcha. Ouch. And buy seeds to the south of the wheat field. Well, I mean, realistically, I don't have any money anyway. So we're just going to we're just going to do other things. 